And we look at Cassidy as she is getting ready to enter the ring for what has to be the biggest test of this young lady's short career as she will enter one-on-one -on -one the squared circle tonight against the first and only female trainee and graduate of the Shawn Michaels Wrestling Academy, Simply Luscious. Now Cassidy herself was also trained by a veteran of this business in Rusty Brooks. Now you may ask yourself, those of you that know who those men are, why would anybody, oh wait, let's see what Bob's gotta say. Well, say something. It's okay, open up the jacket. Nobody's gonna bite. What are we observing, a moment of silence here? And off comes the hat. Here she comes. A former tag team champion here at WWE with the full-breasted Italian, Angel Orsini. And look at the look on Cassidy's face. Now you may ask yourself, ah, oh, there she is, simply luscious with the nice guys. That's not very ladylike. And you may ask yourself who those two gentlemen are behind you. I would love to answer that, but I don't want to wind up on the bottom of the Hudson. The nice guys are protecting the investment of the full breast, leave that man alone, of the full breasted Italian, Angel Arsini. Angel Arsini, this is her tag team partner, Simply Luscious. She is not here tonight. She is over in Sicily taking care of business, whatever that's supposed to mean. And she has sent these two nice guys here to protect her investment in her tag team partner. What's she so angry about? Just because she had a bad hair day, she doesn't have to take it out of our audience. Now, of course, again, you're looking at a graduate, the only female graduate of the Shawn Michaels Wrestling Academy in the ring awaits her Cassidy, a graduate of, I guess, the Rusty Brooks Wrestling Academy. What do you learn there to look up at the lights? Simply luscious in the ring. Big star here in WEW, a veteran now of this great sport. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the corner to my left, from Miami, Florida, weighing in tonight at 125 pounds, this is Cassidy! Miami? What do they, what do, they do, keep her in a basement there? She doesn't even have a tan. Come on! What a bully. What's she yelling at Bob for? And her opponent, accompanied to the ring by the nice guys from San Antonio, Texas, weighing tonight at 135 pounds, she's simply luscious! Well, that's a matter of opinion. Simply Luscious, of course, accompanied by the Nice Guys Incorporated hats and jackets. Joey jackets and Harry hats. Where's Carl Coates when you need him? And Cassidy now getting checked out by our official here in WEW, Simply Luscious as well. And again, this is a very interesting matchup here because Luscious, you would think, would have the obvious advantage of being the veteran here in WEW. This is Cassidy's very first match here. And a slap to the face. That's not right. That's not right at all. And she slapped her back. That takes a lot of guts. And a big right and a miss. And a right and an other. And she's all over. Cassidy with an Irish whip. Sends in Luscious, big elbow. And Luscious right now is being abused by the rookie, Cassidy. Cassidy with that total world head scissors. She got her. And Luscious slides out of the ring. And how about Cassidy coming in here and looking to set the world on fire by beating Simply Luscious. Oh, wait a minute, Cassidy now following her out. Luscious with hats and jackets. And a high cross body, and down goes hats and jackets. And Luscious, and that's great. And that's what you have to do if you're somebody like Cassidy and you're a newcomer here in WEW, you have to take risks. Sometimes the risks pay off, 
Sometimes they don't, but you have to take them. You're not going to beat a girl like Luscious on just pure ability without it taking any Oh, and now Hats and Jackets have a problem. They're getting in the way. And Cassidy awaiting her opponent. And right now, it's a very crucial time of the match for Simply Luscious because Luscious looked to come into the match and set the pace for herself and the match. But Cassidy seems to be the captain of the match, seems to be the one called the shot, setting the pace. And that is absolutely huge when you're inside of the wrestling ring. And ladies and gentlemen, we are taped here from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the electric factory, the site of so many big events in the city of Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, what some may call the capital of professional wrestling, WEW taking over Philadelphia, setting the world on fire, a sold out crowd here tonight at the electric. I don't even think Slipknot sold out the electric factory they played here a couple weeks ago. But I'll tell you what, WEW did it. We are packed to the rafters, and what a great time it is, and we want to thank you for joining us here on television tonight for WEW. Hip toss, countered by Simply Luscious. And now Luscious looks to be in control. And notice the veteran-like move of Cassidy. You'll see a lot of wrestlers today will keep going into their opponents, or what we in the business like to call feeding. You would see a lot of wrestlers going back to the hip toss, and then Luscious winds up getting the momentum, setting the pace, but Cassidy stopped. She stopped dead in her tracks. While it may not be the most exciting thing for a lot of fans in the audience, it's a brilliant and very veteran-like strategy. Got to give her credit there. Up and over goes Cassidy. And another hip toss. And Luscious now grabbing the arms. And she's, she's standing on her hair. You might not be able to see it there. She's standing on her hair. You may not agree with it, but it's a very smart move. She's very crafty. She is such a crafty wrestler, this Simply Luscious. And wait a minute now, Joey Jackets, or excuse me, Harry Hats, holding Cassidy, choking her, asphyxiating her on that rope there. And Luscious hits the ropes. Ow, man, Luscious. Right on her back, right on her neck. And that could knock her out right there. And our referee down to count to three. And no, she gets a breast up. And Simply Luscious. Pulls the hair very blatantly in front of the referee. Simply Luscious, snap suplex. And she hangs on. And Luscious again, snap suplex. And we're gonna go for the trifecta, snap suplex. Goes for the cover, that's gotta be it. It's over, wow, another breast stop. It looks like they're coming out. Take them both out, honey. And Harry Hats at ringside yelling. I don't know what he's got to be yelling about. All I know is I wouldn't want to wind up. All I know is somebody tells me I'm going, I'm going for a meeting and I want to be in the back seat of a car being driven by hats and jackets. I know I'm not coming home. And Luscious again going back to choking her opponent. And Luscious playing here with Cassidy, which I don't know if that's about. Oh, come on, hats! Get off of her, you big bully. And Luscious now looking to, I thought she was going to Irish whip her to the other side of the ring. Luscious all over her. Luscious follows through. Cassidy right now in a lot of trouble. Big boot! Big boot! Cassidy's come alive. Cassidy moving a little too slow right here. A very rookie-like mistake on Cassidy's part. And Luscious with a big right hand. And a lot of times, you'll see a lot of wrestlers will hop right on the turnbuckle. I'll take advantage of it. And it's not so much that they're in better shape or anything than, than their opponent. It's the fact they're more experienced and it's just instinct. But right here, she doesn't have that kind of instinct because she's a rookie here in WEW. And a big avalanche suplex. Oh, she lost her there. Avalanche suplex. Luscious hooks the leg. No, where's she rolling to? Luscious just looks completely out of it. Trying to get the fans behind her maybe, it seems. Luscious just in such phenomenal shape. She is the kind of wrestler that can go out here and wrestle for 90 minutes and not even get excited about it. Big clubbing sledgehammer, and another, and another. And we all know that Philadelphia is the capital of some of the boxing greats. Right now, we're looking at two heavyweights slugging it out here. A WEW, you've got to be kidding me, a discus and Zagiri. And she's up, the power. Where did she get it from? Cassidy's up. We got Cassidy bringing it, she's going up to the top. Oh no, what's she looking, what's she looking for his phone number? What's she trying to do, turn back the clock, the bell, the bell. You gotta be kidding me. 
Dead girl walking. Dead girl walking. Cassidy has the ring bell. I haven't seen anybody with a bell inside of a ring since Randy Savage took out Ricky Stebo for months 15 years ago or so. Wait a minute. Hats is in the ring. Hats is in the ring. And Hats fighting off. Hats fighting with Cassidy. And down goes Hats. And down goes Hats again. That big clumsy goof. Hats is fighting for it. Hats knows that if he can't get the bell, he's not gonna have his fingers cut off by his boss. Super kick! Page right out of Simply Luscious's book. Downtown. Oh, here we go. She's got the hammer. Ding dong! Ding dong! He won't be needing those later. And Cassidy, listening to the fans, are saying, well, and again, the big axe kick. And Jackets going into the ring. Somebody should give him a wheelchair. Garanji. Garanji out of Cassidy. She's going to do it. She's going to beat the veteran, the graduate of the Shawn Michaels Wrestling Academy, former tag team champion and the insurance policy of the full-breasted Italian, Angel Arsini. Cassidy going up top. Cassidy, look at the balance. Swanton! Swanton! Hooks the leg! She did it! She did it! She did it! Alert the media! Call your friends and neighbors! Because you just saw what could possibly be the biggest upset in the history of WEW! Summer's ready to fight. No talking, let's start fighting. And that's what it's about. Primetime Amy Lee is a former world heavyweight champion here in WEW. But sometimes the bark is worse than the bite. And Summer taking it to her. Into the, into the photographer. And a big right hand by Primetime Amy Lee. Hello, San Diego. And a boot to the midsection. And again, listen to the thud. Just listen to the thuds. Not a chain. She's gonna lynch her with the chain. She's gonna, we're gonna see a lynch in here on WEW. Dragging her around like a dog. Right into the guardrail. I mean, not only is she outsized, 
but also Primetime Amy Lee has so many more years of experience on her inside of the ring, outside of the ring, on the streets. Primetime Amy Lee, a veteran of tough girl competitions. And again. It's not worth it, Summer. It's not worth it. Come up to the broadcast booth, spend some time here. It'll be a lot easier than that, trust me. And I think now she's looking to escape or get away. And now she's playing, a, she's playing like a tambourine out there. She's got cymbals. And Summer, with a dive, with a dive, takes the boat out. Kicking. It's not the size of the dog, it's the size of the fight in the dog. And that dog is a fighting. And again, just listen to the thuds. And this is Philly style. This is how we do it here in Philly. Whether you're watching this pay-per-view in Philadelphia, New York City, Montana, Los Angeles, California, we're coming to you from Philadelphia. This is how we do it here. And again, over the head. Now the, the bucket, the bucket. Beat her with the fry pan. Get that jabroni out of here. And that boot. That trippinoid. And Smoke holding her now. Come on, ref. Do something about this. Prime time Amy Lee followed her like a bear. Sensing, sensing raw meat, smelling blood. Not the, no, no, not with the guitar. She's tuning her up in there. This is brutal. Just listen to those shots. Camel toe clutch, camel toe clutch. Camel toe clutch. Is she gonna give up? She tapped, she tapped. Damn. But what a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission. That's enough. Prime time, Amy Lee. Come on, Smoke. Pick on somebody your own side. Who is going to stop Prime time, Amy Lee? Who will stop the two of these individuals, the whole haters? Was it worth it? Was it really worth it? They had beaten this girl within an inch of her life. Tonight, you just saw the beginning of a whole lot of ass whipping from the whole haters. This is one of the first of the series of victims tonight. And if you don't know, now you know. From the small. Well, one thing's for sure. Let me tell each and every one of you fat, the netty, the efficiency, you piece of trash. You see what I did to Tiny Tampon? You both are next. Cause I am the queen of extreme! The, the queen of extreme? I don't think so, bitch! There's the queen of extreme! That's the only Queen of Extreme I know of. The general manager of WEW, whether you like her or not, she truly is the Queen of Extreme, Francine, Francine. Maybe she's changed her ways. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is enough to push her over the top. She has ran Philadelphia with an iron fist here for the last several years. Francine is the true queen of extreme. And I don't think she appreciates somebody like primetime Amy Lee making that statement. Oh, it's on, it's on. And she looks hotter than ever. She looks gorgeous. She looks ravishing and sexy, may I add. And she is our general manager here. You're only gonna see her on pay-per-view in WEW. First of all, witch, you're in my world. Witch? 
That's right, you tell her, honey. You tell her, Francine. You know, I was in the back earlier and I heard Amy talking about somebody. She has more hair on her chest than you have on her head. Or, is that what you said? You have a little more hair on your chin, too. I noticed in the back. Ooh, burn, burn. That's from being with your own man, Bimbo. Oh, it's on. Burn, anyway, burn. Everybody here knows that I'm the only queen of extreme. Oh, she's the best. Just look at her. So it's pretty safe to say that you, my dear, are a never was. I am, I will be, and I'm the only. Care to take me on? Queen wanna be extreme. Oh, let her have it, Francie. Let her have it. I got your back and your front and your side and your bottom and your top. Let her have it. Let her have it. It's your answer, Tootsie. Come on, Tootsie. Hit her. Hit her. Oh boy, it's all going downhill now. You come down here. Interrupt. That you are the queen of a street. It's called extreme, not extreme. Well, I'll tell you what. Later on, we're going to see who is the real extreme queen. Not only am I going to kick Amy's ass, but Smoke, I'm going to kick your ass too. I love it. I love it. It's on. It's on. She's a fighter. That's where she comes from. What the? What? You see, people, this is how gullible you Philadelphia fans always were, eating out of the palm of my hand. I want to buy. Did you really think that I would align myself with any other faction than one that is called the Ho-Haters? This is just unbelievable right here. There are not too many ladies in this company, but you are looking at two of them right now. Ladies? Ladies? I see an animal. We are ladies. You must treat us with the respect that we rightfully deserve. Oh, I'll That's treat her with the respect right. she rightfully every deserves. Time I pee in the shower, I rinse it when I'm done. I'd like to use her as a toilet. Uh -oh. Anyway, as I said, I only align myself with people that I can trust, that have class, that have dignity, and you're looking at two of them right here. Which leads me to you, SoCal Val. Where are you? You were my assistant. You're not here. There was nobody at the airport to pick me up. There was nobody to carry my bags to the building. Oh, poor me. And I know because you're a little mark. You're watching this pay-per-view right now. So in the words of Donald Trump, you're fired. What? What? I feel like I'm being sold a wholesale of bullshit right now. That's what I feel like. That's right. Tonight, you're seeing history in the making. And the best is yet to come. So all you trouble guys who the think who? that, oh, oh, smoke, smoke, no, it can't be. No, 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 no,
Texas Navajoes, shut the hell up! Because this one, this time for each and every one. You in the back, you over there talking to the smoke, you around me, that's right. You want to deal with your man, you know you want to be with the smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Tonight. Calm down, honey. Let, let me just finish so we can get the hell out of this building. I'll okay? tell you, this guy's about as okay, over in Philadelphia as a pregnant vault pole right now. Don't boo me. Don't ever boo me. Boo, boo, boo. After everything, everything that I have done for you people, I have bled and broke bones for you people, and this is the way you treat me? You come out here and you disrespect me? How many shows, how many hours is this show? Two, four, five? My, my hearing might be a little bit off, but I, I, I think they're calling lady. her a slut. There is a difference. Learn how to respect a true lady in this sport. Learn, okay? Now look, I gotta get on the business because I really want to get the hell out of here. I'll tell you, this is worse than a Sopranos dream sequence you at this rate. Show some respect and let me talk. Not done yet. We have another hour to kill. Relax. The WEW title belongs with the Ho Haters. So tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit one of the most talented and gifted wrestlers that we have here. And her name is G.I. Ho. No, she would never go with you. She would never go with you. Because you see, the woman who holds the belt right now, her name is Ty Killer Weed. That's right. That's right. She is not a respectful champion. She drinks. She smokes. She's probably a drug addict. No different than any of the champions of the 70s. She reminds me of every single one of you, and that makes me sick. She is a champion we could be proud of around here. That's the kind so of- So my main goal tonight is to get that belt off her waist and put it on the newest member of the Ho Haters, G.I. Ho. I'll never believe it. I, I just won't believe it until I see it. Fine. No, don't say that. Don't say that because it's disrespectful. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Sit down. She got as fun as biology class at this rate. Doesn't that Billy Bucktooth? Bucky Beaver? This is not a strip club. Have some respect. Even our fans have nicknames in here. Thank God this isn't a black tie affair. Lord knows who'd show up. I just want to share with you a rumor that I heard in the back. It's not true. I went to the doctor. That oh. used to be in WEW called the PWO. Oh, yeah. I don't like them. And now, two of the girls that I despise the most are thinking of revving it back up. And it's George and either Pussy Willow or Bobcat or whatever the hell she calls herself. I don't even know her name. But they're supposed to get this stuff back together. And I guarantee you that as long as the Ho Haters are breathing, the PWO will not exist ever here in WEW. Those are some bold statements right there by our general manager here in WEW. The queen of extreme, Francine. I'll never get tired of looking at her, but I'll get tired of listening to her. But you know what? There are very few times where she does not speak the truth.
Crystal Carmichael, the diva, returning to WWE pay-per-view, looking hotter than ever. How do you create a body like that? But she's all about the bling bling. Crystal Carmichael, that's all she's about. She doesn't care about dinners. You can fly her anywhere in the country, but you better have money to back it up. You better be buying her gold. She ain't putting up with that silver pool. The Diva. She was told, she was given explicit orders not to use the telephone in the hotel room. Don't use the phone because you don't have money to buy it. Management wasn't going to pay for it. Christy Richie wasn't going to pay for it. And you know what happened? She conned the hotel clerk into using the phone. She said that Christy Richie needs to call home and check on her kids and her husband. And Crystal the Diva Carmichael went upstairs. She wound up making $40 worth of food. Crystal the Diva Carmichael wound up making $40 worth of phone calls, calling everybody on God's green earth, running up the bill, management's hot, Christy Ritchie's hot, everybody got stuck with the phone bill except the Diva. So now, WEW, we have ordered that this match will happen and that the loser will not only have to pay the phone bill, but pay a 15% surcharge on top of that. Who the hell is she calling for $40? Who doesn't own a cell phone anymore? Who is this broad? Coming in here, two pounds overweight, like she owns the place. All about the bling bling. Power of a go behind. Oh, a rump bump. Standing switch. Oh, and look at Christy Ritchie. Trying to take that vertical base down. Snap bear. Gotta love it. Falls to her knees in the process. It's all about the phone bump. That's all about the phone bill. All about the phone bill. That's what she's doing right now. Look at her. She's like saying something in her ear. She's saying, yeah, I remember that $30 call to San Antonio. Yeah, I remember that $5 call to Tampa. Yeah, it was on my bill. She got stuck with it. Have you ever been so tired that you want to check out of your hotel room? You just want to go home. You just want to get on your flight and go home and see your family. And you're stuck arguing over a $40 phone bill. And the diva. That's why they call her the diva. She just doesn't care. She's got no respect for authority around here. Crystal the Diva Carmichael. Now with a, a, a hammer lock. And again, cinching into that hammer lock, I thought she was gonna cross face with a chicken wing. Christy Ritchie with a side headlock. The total package. And believe me, there is nothing worse than a woman on a phone. And there is even nothing more, more horrible than that than a woman who won't pay her phone bill. Shoots her off. 
Shoulder tackle. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> you owe me $40, honey. And another shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle, excuse me, and down she goes. Oh, up and over. Very athletic is the total package. Christy Ritchie wrestles all over the country. Big superstar here. Doesn't need the hassle. Doesn't need the garbage. Being stuck with a phone bill. I'll tell you, this Carmichael's in trouble. She's got to eat around here. Shoots her in. Big clothesline. Takes her off her feet. There were some people that wanted to fire her. Some people wanted to fire her. But no, we decided we're a wrestling company. So instead of firing her, we'll put her in the ring. And if she can't get the job done, then she's going to be stuck paying the phone bill. I'm with them. I say fire her. We don't need her. We don't need her. <laughs> typical, typical woman running up a phone bill and not paying for it. She's a con artist. She's a scammer. Crystal the Diva. That's why they call her the Diva. Slides in. Christy Ritchie. Oh, big boot. And another big boot by Crystal Carmichael. Oh, pounding away, kicking at that hamstring. Gonna tear it up. It looks like she's gonna turn her over maybe into a, a half crab. A half crab. But I'll tell you what, the advantage is for Crystal Carmichael. Because if she wins the match, she actually winds up losing out because she should have made four, more phone calls in the room. I mean, who is this girl calling? Who is so important this girl can't be away for 24 hours without using the phone? Reverse life edge chop. And another. Crystal Carmichael is going to break a nail and a miss. Reverse breast edge chop. Like the old chief, God rest his soul. She's going to pop an implant. I think I smell silicone. Carmichael, pounded away. I mean, you think to yourself, you're watching this, and you're thinking, what would make somebody go through this amount, this much punishment? Taking kicks to the hamstring, half crab, suplexes, a food bill. She's mounting her. She's mounting her. Oh, wait a minute, Christy Ritchie, her shirt's coming off. I didn't think she was one of those. She may wind her, she may wind up in the enemy lines of the ho haters. If this one's all over. Crystal the Diva pounds away at another. Crystal the Diva Carmichael shoots her in. The first knife bed. And a big elbow off of her feet. All about the phone bill. I don't know, she would have been better off being fired than being stuck in there with Christy Ritchie over this phone bill. Tell you, she used to be the big guy's favorite wrestler, but she's really upset me here. And Christy Ritchie now on one knee. Ooh. And Crystal Carmichael continuing to work over that knee there. And right now she's going to that rear naked choke. Some people call it a sleeper, but it looks to me like it's a rear naked choke. And Crystal Carmichael yelling at our official. Calling us, barking out orders like she's a diva or something. I look at Christy Rich, she looks like she's about out of it. And she's using the ropes. She's using the ropes. Look at the mouth of that girl. That dirty mouth. That same mouth that ran up $40 worth of phone calls. Somersault Centon. That Somersault Cannonball Centon. Kick out by Christy Ritchie. She picks her up again. I'll tell you what, it would have been better off just buying a cell phone. Believe me, than going through this. As the leg, looks like she's going to work it over. Maybe work on those, those hamstrings. But again, the one thing I'll say about Crystal Carmichael, she's determined. She was determined to use a phone, and she's determined to work over the legs of Christy Ritchie. She is one determined young lady. We can just get her into a gym to lose those extra two pounds. She'd be in great shape. And she missed. She missed. She could have broke her tailbone with that. And 
Christy Ritchie now up. Looks like an open hand. That was closed. And another. Christy Ritchie getting very frustrated right now with our official here at WEW. Crystal the Diva Carmichael. Shoots in Christy Ritchie. Big clothesline. And look, she's right in the center of the ring, right in the perfect position for a pin. And that's exactly what Crystal Carmichael doing, but she didn't hook the leg. I think she may have had her, but she hooked the leg. Christy Ritchie obviously with the size advantage. Crystal Carmichael, so when you have her down, you're gonna do everything possible to make sure she's down and immobile, at least for three seconds. Or put her in a predicament to tap. Enzigiri! Enzigiri by Richie. Christy Richie, to the right, and the Diva. She looks out of it right now. She's right for the pickets, big drop kick. Drop kick out of Christy Ritchie, hooks the leg. Oh, that was it, I thought. I thought $40 plus that 50% surcharge were coming out of her check. Scoop and a slam. Oh, but Shinoku driver. We'll call it the Ritchie driver. What the hell? Oh, man, she, she got out of it. That's surprising. I wouldn't expect that. A little unorthodox. Defense there. Wait a minute, what she got in her hand? I know. I, I wonder if it's a phone card. I wonder if that's what she's got in her hand. Lord knows she needs one. But right now, she's got something to, Oh, wait a minute, she's got some bling. She's got some bling on that wrist. Some bling. She's out cold. Down goes Richie. Down goes Richie. And Crystal Carmichael sits on her like a diva. Not only does she pin her, but she gets away Ladies without paying the phone bill. Your winner of the match, Crystal, the Diva, Carmichael. What a win here over a veteran like Christy Ritchie, but even more important, now Ritchie's stuck with a $40 phone bill and a 50% surcharge on top of that. I'll tell you what, if there's anything that you can count on here at WEW, that's not to rule with Crystal the Diva Carmichael. Let's run up your phone bill. Mercedes Martinez. She is absolutely deadly. She is dangerous, she is ferocious. Don't let the sexy eyes and the hot lips fool you. She is all business here in WEW in this deportation matchup. Where is she going to get deported to? At 
the WWE. You're out of here, honey. She has been trying for years to get into WWE and establish better than she is. And if she loses, if she doesn't come away winning this match, she's done. It's one and out for you. April Hunter has wrestled all over the world. Big star in Japan. Has graced penthouse. Just as sexy as she is legal. She yelled at Bob about. Ladies and gentlemen, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in tonight at 150 pounds, this is the prize, April Hunter! The prize? The Cracker Jack box? We await our next, our next competitor, our fourth and final. As we await from Osaka, Japan, Sumi Sakai. There she is. I know, so something tells me the music doesn't quite match the wrestler in this case, but that's okay. Sumi Sakai making her return to WEW, and she's out of here. She's back in Osaka. If she doesn't win this one, I'll tell you, she's got to be the most intelligent out of all the girls in this match because, you know, those, those Japanese those Japanese women and men, they're so intelligent, they start talking right away. That, that baby talk is just gibberish. It's Japanese anyway. They start talking right away. They're brilliant. And That's lastly, so from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in tonight at 115 pounds, Sumi Sakaya! Sakaya? All right, he's done. He's flagged. Enough for the martinis. Cut off Martinez's drinks. April Hunter, Mercedes Martinez, the Italian Stallion, and Sumi Sakai. The deportation, elimination matchup here on WEW. The first match ever in WEW for April Hunter, and of course, for the Italian Stallion, Sumi Sakai, otherwise known here in the United States as Pool Tang. Sumi Sakai and the Italian style. It looks like it's turned into a tag team affair here. Mercedes Martinez, we have seen her on the last couple of pay-per-views feuding with her sister, Shelly Martinez. April Hunter out of the ring. The Italian stallion now. Mercedes Martinez, oh man. She is just, she's, she's just, she's a firecracker, Mercedes Martinez. She is a calendar girl in Mexico. She's a sex symbol there. She's bigger than Menudo. Up in your corner, right there, you right there. And listen, it's gonna break down to Sumi Sakai and the Italian style. She's a good technical wrestler, some sound wrestling here. And remember, you're looking at four girls from other parts of the world, and losers of this match will be deported. And one thing we know is for sure, three of these girls will be deported. And she lands on her feet. The Italian stallion. Well, that didn't look too pretty. The Italian stallion. Single leg takedown out of Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai, single leg takedown, well, an attempt at one out of the Italian style. I think her nose got in the way. April Hunter now trying to get the fans behind. A tag in to the big dogs in the matchup. These girls rock the house. The size of the team, the size of the match. Oh, they swerved them. Now it's the Italian Stallion and April Hunter. April Hunter could eat this girl for breakfast. The beautiful April Hunter. Collar and elbow pushes her down. What a show of strength out of April Hunter. April Hunter, again, a very accomplished superstar in this industry. Wrestles frequently in Japan, as does Sumi Sakai. And the Italian Stallion, that arm drag, holds on. April Hunter rolls backward. Beautiful move, better than like move out of April Hunter. And for more information on these girls and for some uncensored pictures of everybody that you see tonight on WEW, check out WExtremeW.com. That's WExtremeW.com. You do need to be a member, but believe me, the benefits are well worth it. Hammerlock there out of April Hunter. And the Italian Stallion trying to reach around with that little bit of a hair man, reverse chin lock. 
out of the Italian Stallion from right here in South Philadelphia. And she's gone. She gets pinned in this match. She's going home. She's going back to Italy. Arm ringer. And again, and April Hunter could lose out in the big opportunity here. WEW, everybody wants to be a part of WEW. National pay-per-views, national television, superstars from all over the world sending their videos, their pictures, their resumes here into WEW, but only the elite are chosen. Side headlock, head of the Italian Stallion. April Hunter, she's her back. April Hunter shoots her off, the Italian Stallion. That tilt her head scissor, make that the trifecta, the third time I've seen that tonight. Side slam. Oh, and she drove her. What power, what strength. Out of April Hunter. April Hunter now having, just keeping our referee a dead end stye, a dead end stare. Excuse me, hard. I'm so caught up here in the action. Reverse. Wait a minute, the Italian Stallion catches her with that elbow right to the throat. Italian Stallion now has her in a triangle choke. A triangle choke. She's got the triangle applied. The triangle choke on the powerful April Hunter. Down to a knee. Down to a knee. Like jumping down a tree. Down to two. Now she's on her derriere. And she goes down. And Sumi Sakai with that ankle lock. And wait a minute, Mercedes has a triangle of her own. This is brilliant! Shimi Sakai. Oh, I thought she was running up to the top rope there. Mercedes Martinez, she is a firecracker. And hot little tamale. The Italian Stallion tags into Shimi Sakai. Sakai working over that arm, following up where AJ, or excuse me, where the Italian Stallion left off. The Italian Stallion, we saw working over that arm with that triangle there. Kick out. Pound it away, kick it away. Great body of those legs. And she's making her wish. She's making her wish. Poo tag here in the United States. Sumi Sakai also wrestles all over the world. Big superstar in her native homeland of Japan from Osaka, Japan. Big tag into the Italian stallion. Who would have been forearm? And I don't think you want to get in there trading forearms with somebody like April Hunter. She'll knock your teeth out. And that total whirl, a total whirl sidewalk slam. And she pinned her. The stallion's gone. She's going back to Italy in a pizza box. So much for the Italian stallion. This is elimination. Flip. Flows line. She turned on her partner. That's exactly what I was talking about. About them damn alliances. And she's mounting her. She's mounting her for the attack. And Mercedes Martinez needs to get into a guard position and quickly. Oh, what a big shot out of April Hunter. April Hunter reversed. Mercedes Martinez to the world. Oh, wait a minute. She's got her in the cross face. She's got her in the cross face. The cross face, cross face. The cross face, cross face. She's got it locked in. Look at her wrenching back. Mercedes has nowhere to go. How's she gonna make it to the ropes? Her best bet would be to tap and to save her career without risking permanent injury. And April Hunter may have made a big tactical mistake there by releasing the hold. I think she made a huge, huge mistake there. She got really frustrated and released the hold. Not good, not a smart move. I'm pretty surprised at the veteran. With a big forearm. Finish. April Hunter, reverse out of Mercedes Martinez. Follows a three big boot. April Hunter up. Oh, big right, open hands. I thought she was gonna go for a fisherman's buster there. Oh, what a big right. Oh, she is going for a fisherman's buster, it looks like, oh no. What a neck breaker, that vertical swing and neck breaker. Hooks the leg. She's gone. She's out of WEW for 30 days. She's deported. Sumi Sakai laying the boots in on Mercedes Martinez. And Sumi going back to Japan. Is Mercedes going back to Mexico. 
Total World Head Scissor out of Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai, Hurricane Rana, Poo Tang, Poo Tang. Everybody wants to get behind Poo Tang. Poo Tang going up top. Maybe wasted a little too much time. Poo Tang off the rope. High cross body and a miss. What a thud. Mercedes Martinez crawls over, great binding the legs. And she's double underhooking those arms. She's underhooking those arms. It's like a double, double half Nelson, so to speak. And she's got, she's wrenching back. Oh, and wait, she's got a dragon sleeper applied. Dragon sleeper, dragon sleeper. But she looks like she has the arm more than she's, she has the neck. And if she could put that arm around the neck, it would be more like a dragon sleeper. She got the shoulder up. I can't believe it. We got some life in Bhutan. And Mercedes Martinez got a hair full of Bhutan. Wait a minute. Double chops. Double chops. Like a samurai warrior. And one of those cross face, cross faces we saw earlier. Cross face, cross face. Different version. Version 2K4. I don't know what she said, but I'm sure it's dangerous. And a reversal by Mercedes Martinez. Follows through. Big boot. These two women no strangers to one another. Tornado DDT. Hooks the legs. Rolls through! She got her! She got her! Mercedes, she's going back to work in the field. Sumi Sakai! Just barely, but she gets it. Victorious tonight on WEW.